This might be the biggest moment that's ever happened in wholesaling real estate. This is the point. This is the transition point for when AI changes everything for wholesalers. We are here. ChatGPT just dropped their Atlas browser. Now, you might not know what this is, but a year ago, I said this. I said, there will be a point where AI is going to literally do everything for you inside of wholesaling real estate. And now, it has happened. ChatGPT just dropped this for free, by the way, Atlas. And I'm telling you right now, I am like shaking looking at this. This is a complete game changer for everything. And this is the point where everything changes in wholesaling. This is a lot. This is crazy. I'm just going to dump this right now and let's break it all down. So uh, you might not know this, but if you go here and we look up chat GPT Atlas, right? Uh, there's a new browser. You just got to look up chat GPT Atlas right here. And it's the brand new browser. You can download it right here. And it's pretty much Google Chrome's browser combined with chat GPT. Now you might be like, Zach, what's the big deal with this? Well, AI literally will do everything for you. Like, like, AI will take over your mouse and just start working for you. The robots have taken over. This is one of the biggest points we have ever seen in wholesaling. So, you know, let me just show you, okay? Like this is freaking me out. So if you go to my free real estate wholesaling course and community, freewholesaling.com, we are gonna have a pinned post right after this video drops of exactly all the prompts that you can now do. Now, you might be like, Zach, what's the big hoopla here? Like, what's the big deal? Well, let me show you. So first and foremost, let's just do something inside of X leads. So here's the first prompt, you know, act as a CRM automation architect, design a follow up sequence for motivated sellers inside of go high level and X leads. So pretty much what you're doing here is saying, Hey, AI, go inside my X leads account and create me a follow up automation sequence. Crazy, right? So if you go here, and we go to X leads, all we're going to do is let's uh, take this off, right? So if we go here, and we just go to ask, this is the browser, by the way, you can import your Google. So it's all your tabs are still here. All your passwords are saved. So it's a really easy transition, but all you have to do, go to ask ChatGPT, And all you need to do is make sure this agent mode. So we're going to make sure agent mode is enabled here. So you go to agent mode. So unfortunately you only get 78 for the month, but you obviously can go buy more, but pretty much you're going to use a command V just paste what you're doing. And we're going to just tell ChatGPT act as a CRM automation architect and create a follow up sequence inside of my X leads, aka the go high level. And all you're going to do is just press go. Now what it's going to do is first and foremost, it's like taking over the screen. It's like, okay, let's figure this out. So first it's going to look up every article pretty much ever written about go high level. It's going to look at every video that's ever created about X leads. It's like, okay, I know exactly what X leads is. And what it's doing is going to go to automation and it's going to like, okay, well, let's go out here and create an automation. Now it's going through the funnels. It's going through the sequences right here. And as you see, it's literally going to create an automation for me. Now, of course, this is brand new. It's going a little slow, but as you can see here, it is just trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. Here's the automation link. It's going to workflow. Again, this is slow. Like you click it, you go home, get a coffee, chill out and oh, Look what it did. It just created a workflow. Wow. So for everyone that has an X leads account or go high level, like it's literally just going to create the workflow for you. Or you could say, Hey, fix my workflow, make it better. Uh, so let it go out here and analyze it. So, I mean, guys, I'm like freaking out right now. It's literally just doing all this stuff. Like this is insane. It's adding the filters. It's going to create an entire workflow for me right here. Okay, it's adding a tag. So what it's doing right now is it's literally just going inside of my X leads account and creating a workflow inside of it. Now we're also going to show exactly how to do this for the free stuff, which is going to be crazy. It's going to analyze Zillow deals. It's going to go basically do everything a free wholesaler needs. It's going to write contracts. We're literally showing all the stuff right here. Okay, it's going to save the tag. So it says I've designed it. Okay, so it, it literally wrote it for me. So I'm going to say put that into the automation. There we go. Okay, it's going to create a new action here. And it's going to be making a SMS voicemail and email trigger. So it's going to SMS, it's going to literally create the workflow for you. And this is the power like it's literally just clicking the tab and doing it all for us. Oh, whoa, it just pasted that in there. That's crazy. Now, as you can see, it's working a little slow, but basically it's doing all the stuff and it's creating the workflow for me. It's saving the action, going to the next thing right here. It's adding in a voicemail. So it's going to need me to upload the actual audio, which is kind of funny here. 
but I'll literally go do the rest of it. So I'll go add it right here. I'll just press take control and resume it. Now I can tell it to go resume and keep going and keep doing everything. Uh, cause I took control cause I couldn't physically add a voicemail. I can say, keep going and finish it, but stop with voicemail. So it's giving it obviously the three day action. Keep going. Now, obviously it's probably going to take like 30 minutes and 45 minutes to go do this. Uh, so I'm just going to show like, obviously you see it's doing that, right? But we have a lot more prompts I want to show you. Now, the next really cool prompt here is you can make it go out here and make a whole automation doing 500 SMS leads. But I think what's really cool is this pro this right here will analyze a property for you with Zillow if you have no money. So we're going to copy this one in right here. Actually, we're going to copy the whole thing. Okay, cool. We're going to go here to Zillow and we're going to go to this deal right here. Now, what I'm going to do is just have it analyze this property. So we're going to leave this Zillow link right here. We're going to copy it. We're going to paste it right here. And what we're going to do is we are going to have the AI right here look at this property and find comps for it just for me. So we're going to press paste and we're going to let AI analyze this deal on Zillow for me. So if you have no money, you don't have X leads, you don't have any software, this is going to actually analyze the entire deal. So this is just a uh, property that's currently for sale by owner. And what it's going to do is analyze this deal, comp it for me and let me know where I got to be at. Now, this is going to take a second. What's really cool is on the Fizbos here. Now, this is probably not a good deal because it doesn't have multiple photos. But what it would do is it'd go through each photo and do it here. Now, actually, I'm going to stop it. Let's actually do a property that has multiple photos. Let's do this one. Okay, so we're gonna do it for this one. Do it for this house instead. And I'm gonna give the link. Okay, now we're gonna let it look at this one because it has multiple photos, right? So now it's gonna analyze the property. It has the price information and it's gonna comp the property manually for me here. So first thing it's doing right here is analyzing the new task. Okay, so it's looking at all the comps. It's actually going through Zillow's backend data set. So it's going through literally the code it's researching realtor.com Zillow. It's going through all the comps there. It's gathering comps. It's getting price per square foot for us. It's analyzing the property. And just like that, after looking at the house, it's telling me right now the ARV is 220, the repairs, the MAO, and our recommended offer here which is absolutely insane. So it just analyze the deal for me right here. Now, the cool thing is you can do this inside of X leads. So if you go back here, you can have it do the same thing for like your X leads data. Say, hey, analyze this property. Let me know what you think about it. But what's also really cool is we can do contracts. So if you go right here, this is our contract link right here. So if I pop up this contract, I go out here and download it and I'll open it up inside of, let's say, Google Sheets. This is just inside of frillson.com, right? All right, we just popped up this contract right here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take this prompt right here. We're gonna copy this. You are my real estate contract assistant. Fill out the flip with work contract with all this info. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy all this and you're gonna give me a filled out PDF version. So we're gonna copy all this. So let's go here and it will fill out your contracts for you, which I think is pretty dang cool. So we're gonna go here, bottom, copy it. We're gonna go here. We're gonna ask ChatGPT, press add agent mode. We're gonna paste that in there. We're gonna paste the other info in here too. Go, copy, go back here. We're gonna paste the rest. And now we just gotta fill out the info really quick. So let's fill out really quick. Seller name is going to be, let's do Ricardo Johnson. Buyer's name is going to be Zach Memphis Buyers, LLC. The address is going to be 563 Maple Avenue, Memphis. This is a fake address, Tennessee, you know, 32887. Legal description is going to be basically 875 lot 34 West. Deposit, we are going to do a $500 deposit. Cash due at closing is going to be, let's say, 99,500. Purchase price is gonna be $100,000. EMD, again, this is for the buyer, is gonna be, let's say, 1,000 bucks. Closing date is going to be, let's do January 1st, 2026. Title company is going to be, let's do Tennessee Closings Incorporated. I have no idea. Inspection period, let's do a 30-day inspection period. Additional terms, leave blank. A signer is going to be you. So just call it, you know, Zach LLC. The buyer. Oh, so we're the buyer, actually. My bad. 
Actually, no, Zach Memphis Home Buyers LLC. Let's say I'm the buyer there. The buyer is going to be like Mr. Cash Buyer Incorporated. Assignment fee is going to be, let's say, $20,000. So we're going to write both of the contracts right now. Deposit from assignee is going to be $5,000. Closing date is going to be, let's say, December 3rd, 31st. 2025 uh, total due at closing is going to be let's say a hundred and twenty thousand dollars all right let's see what it does so it's going to go right here and it's going to read this whole contract it's going to see it it's going to see what i put in it's going to analyze the task and it's going to fill out the contract for me which is really crazy honestly so what it's doing right now it is filling out the contract all right, it's putting the seller's name. Now again, this seems really slow, so what you should do is just paste the info and like come back in like five minutes and it'll all get done right here, right there. Now what I'm gonna do after this is obviously it doesn't look all crazy cleaned up. So when it goes and copies all the info and does all this stuff, I'm gonna tell it to like clean it up so it looks professional. Uh, but right now it's just gonna fill the info because that's literally what I told it to do, get rid of the dashes. Uh, but right now I'm just going to do its thing and then I'm going to give it a prompt to go clean it up and make it look all organized and good because it looks a little messy right here. But, it's li but just by the way, this is my Google Drive. It's literally filling out inside my Google Drive. So like I can like go out of town, go to the bathroom real quick, you know, take a nap, watch some dog the bounty hunter and come back after 20 minutes. And, you know, it'll do it'll do like a crazy advanced task for me. Now, I probably should have made the prompt like, hey, make it clean and organized so it looks good. If I gave it an example contract, that probably would have been better. So obviously you can work on your own prompts here, but it's filling out the deposit. It's fill I mean, guys, this is hand like, look, mom, no hands, right? Like no hands, walk a flocker right here. This is absolutely insane. And it's crazy AIs at this point. Now let's a deposit twice here. So that's weird. Uh, but maybe I put two, we'll, we'll figure it out. But I'm telling everybody watching this right now, it probably in two months, this thing's going to be like, it's a little slower than usual right now. But still, I mean, this is the start of something insane right here. So really, it'll just fill out all your contracts for you. Just fill out the info, you know, go out here, play around with it. And it's only going to get better and better and better. Now, I probably should have just gave it a filled out contract. It probably would have been a lot better. So it looks like it's playing around a little too much here. So what I did here was, this is actually a filled out agreement already that's actually formatted properly. So what I'm gonna do is just download this and give this as a reference, as a PDF to the chat atlas. So I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna say, use this as a reference and clean it up. And so I'm going to go add the file and it's going to use like a cleaned up contract once to go do it for me and clean it up even better. So what it's going to do is going to fix the extra characters, bold some certain things, underline it correctly. And that should clean it up as a good end for the contract. I'm going to write now do that for this contract. Now it's going to go out here and fill it out just like it analyzed right there. Now the next thing you can do is if you're using like I speed a lead, you can have the Atlas analyze all the leads for sale and rank the top ones. So for example, here's the prompt, copy all of it right here, and let's go to I speed a lead. So awesome. So you're gonna chat GPT, we're gonna paste this on here, and we're gonna have it analyze these leads for me. So we're gonna go out here, say you're an AI acquisitions manager, analyze all these deals, and I'm going to go by sale club, search it, and I'm gonna let them look at the rest for me. So we're gonna let it take over. So then I'm going to say, now, look on the leads on the site and find me the best ones. And we're going to let it get to work. Well, it actually looked like it analyzed them really quick. Dang. So if you go here, make it a little bigger. It instantly looked at the top ones and it recommended the one in Centerville, imagine this one. And it's saying the hottest three leads I should buy right now is the one in Centerville, Indiana. So let's look at that one real quick. And it's ranking these, which is really cool. Oh, so, oh, it's the one over here. Interesting. So it's asking me to go do it. I'm going to say continue. And it's going to go look at all these leads for me now. Now scrolling through these leads really quick. I think these are all just the Centerville ones. But just to show you, like it's only going to analyze four, but it's reading this one. It's reading the AI call summary on this one. And those are the only ones to do here. So actually, we're gonna t we're gonna stop it, and we're just gonna do all of these. So sale leads. Okay, now do it. So what's gonna do is obviously like a human, it's gonna read the analysis and then look at it and see which one's best. So it's analyzing it. It's reviewing the call summaries, and it's gonna take a little bit of time to do this, but just reading it, analyzing it, and going from there, which is really cool. Now, why this is analyzing? I can go here and go to another tab, 
which is really cool. So it can work in the background. And uh, we're going to go to Zillow here. We're going to do Make in Georgia. And we're going to do another one. And we're going to do our Zillow Fisbo Hunter. And we're going to have it look at the top Fisbo deals for us. So we're going to copy this one. And we're going to go to More. We're going to go to Owner Posted. And we're just going to let them go through all this right here. So we're going to add Agent Mode. And we're going to have them do, at the same time, do two, analyze two of them right here. So it looked here. It gave me which one's best. So let's look at this, the iSpeed Lead why this one's analyzing and looking at the FISBOs. This is kind of crazy. All of them and open them up and look at the picks and descriptions for me. And so now it's gonna get to work here. So it's gonna open the FISBO listings right here. It's gonna review them. It's gonna think of what to do here and analyze the deal for me. This is crazy. So it's literally opening up the listing. It's analyzing, it's looking at it. It's physically looking at every listing here. You know, it's inside of X leads or anything, but it's literally just looking at it and analyzing the property, looking at the pictures to me exactly what they like, what they don't like about it. I mean, this is insane for AI. Now it's reading it, looking at it. I mean, you guys kind of get the point here. This is absolute game changing for wholesaling real estate. And why it's doing that in the background, right? We're reading this. It's telling me which one they like the best. They like a callback immediately. So they like that as an A rank. They want me to buy this deal. They think this is a good deal. They don't like this deal because it's cold nurture. It literally read the description here. I mean, this is guys, this is insanity right here. And now it's clicking the next deal. It's analyzing if it's a good deal or not. It's reading it, looking at it. This is crazy. Now you kind of get the point. It's looking at a Redfit estimate versus the Zillow estimate and looking at all this stuff, which is crazy. Now it's looking at another deal. So obviously I don't want to bore you here while the AI is doing all the work, but this is the chat GPT Atlas and how it's going to change everything for wholesaling real estate. So if you're thinking this is going to change everything, let me know in the comments. I mean, I'm watching this while it's literally analyzing deals for me and doing everything like guys in two or three months when this thing updates, it's gonna get faster and crazier. So right now, analyze your FISBOs, it will create workflows inside of X leads for you. It will write a contract for you. It will comp properties, it will analyze all the other websites if you're comping for free, if you have no money. And if you're using iSpeed Elite, it'll go out here and analyze all the stuff there. So guys, if you're excited about this, it's reading all the descriptions here, go here to ChatGBT Atlas, start using agent mode, go to freewholesaling.com, my free real estate wholesaling course and community and start using the prompts. The prompts are going to be in the description of this video. And this is a changing point for wholesaling real estate. I'm excited. AI's here. So guys, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.